Hey folks, Ron Howard, Extreme Sequences, back at it again. Man, I've got something really cool for you to discuss this morning. And I didn't dream it, I didn't talk about it, didn't think about it. There was a request from Jim Gray, good buddy of mine, great citizen of the great state of Missouri, who uh, is uh, uh, happens to be a member and a customer, and I've been working with him for a couple of years, and he has my... A sequence called Deck the Halls by Mannheim Steamroller. And Jim, like many people, are adding to their shows each and every year. So he reached out and said, Hey, Ron, uh, I've added a couple of uh, mini mega trees. Uh, I think they're 10 footers, one on each side of his big mega tree, and he's got a pretty big property. And he wanted to know, Could I do something with those trees? And I said, Sure. I said, send me over your package file. Let me take a look at it. And and I got it. And I looked at it. I said, yeah, it's going to look really great. The rest of his mapping really, really does look good. And I'll, I'll share just a few moments of that. I'll just skip around so you can see it. I've turned it down low. So don't worry about adjusting your hearing. Here we go. This is Jim Gray's mapping of Deck the Halls. And I believe he did most of this on his own. He really did did well. That all this just looks really cool. And we'll just skip around. Great symmetry, great use of effects. So beautiful. So Jim has added these trees here. It looks like this guy is 180 degree, 16 by 50. And then he's got a single line star, but it's all RGB. Looks beautiful. And really, he just wants me to do something with those two trees. And he didn't even ask about the star, but I took care of that as well. So for the trees, I could steal from the previous tree, which is something he already had done. But I, I really don't like the idea of having three trees always doing the same thing throughout the entire sequence. In his case, his middle tree is such a big tree, the mega tree. It really should be the focal point and have its own voice. And I look at the other trees on each side of it as being, I don't know, backup, background singers, uh, supporting cast. The leading role, in my mind, is always the mega tree. So I scrolled around up here and I said, oh, you know, what might look good there? What would look good? Mini stars? Maybe, maybe, maybe. What about the arches? Hey, hmm. So I tried to find something that's got a lot of coverage all throughout. And I did this right here. And I grabbed this and I copied it. And I went down here to the tree, just one of them, and I pasted it. And I started looking at this. I'm like, oh, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to zoom in here. I want to see what these effects are. Okay, so these are all line tools. Okay, single strand tools. And I kind of, it looks fine, but I'm not, I don't like the way it kind of cuts in there. So I grabbed all, all of these. And, and by the way, it's always a good idea to put this little mark in here if you want to separate things. I do this all the time with a new timing mark. And so what I did in the previous one, I already have it saved, and I'll put that in here in a minute, but I just want to give you an idea of some things that I do. I use a bulk edit to change these to default. And the reason for that is because I want that to have a smooth look. I also changed all of these to turn groups off. Now let's look at these. And I like that better. Okay, so now this is what this looks like back and forth okay great the rest of this I look at these one at one one-on-one -on -one to see what I may want to do and I like that I'm cool with that I get to this section here and I'm thinking mm, maybe maybe not I go over here everything if it's looking great perfect but then I get to something like this and I'm not really digging it a whole lot uh, so I would probably go to my transition here, maybe turn that to 90 degrees. That looks good. So anyway, I just go through each of these and make little changes, little, I mean, really subtle changes, uh, usually in the direction, or I might change the double bounce to a bounce from left to right. In any event, you don't have to spend a lot of time. 
I might go in here and make some changes to this uh, to get it smoother because it's a different size object and so on and so on. Okay, so let me kind of go back out of here so we see everything on the screen. I'm going to get rid of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my preset effect because I saved all that as a preset. I called it Deck the Trees. There are exactly five of them. And these are the changes that I made. So if we look at these changes, see that? These go back and forth. That looks really good. That still goes that way. I changed that to go up. Very, very. And then this one I got a little more creative. Watch this little section here. Just using a, uh, a warp effect. And then, looks good. Same stuff there. This one here is a little bit, I changed this. This originally was here by itself. And so basically what I did was I copied that, put another one down here, rotated 180 degrees. And I don't need that average on there, whatever. Doesn't matter, won't, have, won't impact it. And then these folks here, I kind of left alone. I liked the way they looked. I stole something here. I didn't like what was here. Actually, there was nothing there. So I stole an effect from up here for house outlines, I believe it was. And I like the way that looked. And then at the very end of that, you hear this little ramp up. Watch, listen. Oop. And that's, that's just as simple as taking a galaxy making the radius the way it looks pleasing to you and doing a center value curve from the bottom up. It's a ramp straight up to get that rise. That's it, very, very simple. And then these, I just made these, uh, if we look at the rest of this, let me see if I can play that from there. I just wanted this doing this thing. Of course, we're not seeing the mega tree here. I'll uh, render this in a moment and we'll see it all together. So that's that's kind of that. Not not a lot of work, honestly. I took probably no more than twenty minutes. Uh, this section here, I stole from another section to get this bounce. See, easy, easy, easy. If you've got good content in your effects, use it, reuse it, make modifications. I do my sequences by design knowing that people are going to add more models later. And I really keep that in mind when I'm sequencing because I'll probably be adding more as well. So, you know, once we have all this, let me uh, get this down here where we can see everything. That's everything. Uh, at this point, I can either copy this and paste it here or I can just right click and go to my effects presets and put that in there and that's originally what I had and then we have both of those going let's jump to the stars gems two trees have stars now these are single layer stars they're 50 nodes and you're probably thinking oh my gosh how is this 270 node star going to look on these guys well you would be surprised so all I did, and I did nothing more, was copy the main star. I copied all this. Watch here. Just control C, copy. And then I'm just gonna put this in the star right here for both of these. Let's just paste, paste. I didn't make any changes, and I think you'll see why. Let me render this and we'll play it back. I think that looks pretty good. And look at the stars. They look great. Didn't have to change anything on the second and third mega tree stars. And there's nothing really taking focus away from the mega tree. Everything seems to work in harmony. There's the new section.
And I think you get the idea. So, it's really easy. Well, okay, I have to be careful how, how I say that. But it's not difficult to take what's already been put in the sequence for you, copy it, and make fine adjustments to it, and now your new additional props will be up and running. And you won't have to pay anybody to do it. You won't have to worry about it, panic, freak out. Very, very quick and easy to do. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you found this informative and helpful. I'll catch you next time. Take care.